Hi! This time I'm going to make something from the Maze Runner Death Cure and I'm going to use a gelatin. I made a whole bunch of these. As you see, I clean my, I'm going to clean my skin with a baby wipe, of course, and I'm going to use Prose to glue all these kind of veiny things down. Here they are. I start small. Just piece by piece, I glue them down. It takes it takes a while, so I'm going. I'm just going to chit chat. Um, I finally watched the Maze Runner Death Cure, um, and I got really interested in infected peeps there. Um, so I browsed around on the web, and I found this conceptual art from Ken Bartolome. Bartolome, I hope I say it right. So I use this as the inspiration of this look. A bloodless look. So I'm gluing the first thing down. Um, some movie info. Um, in this epic final, the Maze Runners from the Maze Runner Zaga, Tom leads the group of escaped gladers on their final and very dangerous mission yet. To save the friends, they must break into the legendary lost city. A WCKD controlled labyrinth that may turn out to be the deadliest maze of them all. Um, this person I'm going to make is infected with the flare. It's a man-made disease. It's a virus that slowly eats away the brain and eventually turning its victims into bloodthirsty and irrational humans. You know, like they've got rabies or something. Um... The people who have the flair are commonly called the cranks. So that's a bit of inside information while I'm gluing all these veins thingies down. It takes a lot of time. Yay. Put some veins on this side of my head. I use different colors, but in the end, um, it was a useless step. I'm going to paint over them, so the vein under the nose, um, that was not a good idea because when you use, uh, you know, you have a lot of mimic in your face and it it will break, so you see it break in the end, but that's okay. I'm just entertaining myself and I saw that the background was moving, my wall was moving, it's because of the, f of the fan that was blowing. I'm gluing down some spots that I missed. Final slightly thinner vein. Just rolling it on there. You see me looking into the camera quite a lot. That's because I didn't have my mirror with me, so. <laughs> I'm going to use different kinds of alcohol palettes, the blood palette, the zombie palette, oh no, so, sorry, the skin cover palette, the zombie palette, and another palette. And I use the flick method, so with a toothbrush. And I lay down the base, and it's kind of a grayish, deadish look. And again, this method takes pretty long, so move on quickly. And I thought it was too even, so I decided to take a old beauty blender and dipped it into the alcohol, and then onto my face to make it more um, patchy, bruised. Um, Just dabbing it on to random spots to remove a bit of the alcohol paint to make it more thinner or thicker. And I think it's time to change my hair color again. <clears throat> Just dabbing. I'm happy with it. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, I really need to paint my hair. Just a bit on the neckline. Because if you're going to go to do this for for a um, party, <laughs> costume party or whatever, just do the back of your neck too. I just do the front because that's where the camera is. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay. The camera decided to tilt. Uh, okay, now I'm going to use my Dash Bow Grease Paint Palette and color the, the veins. It's always very hard to do the side of your head. Because some spots you, you know, you can't see properly what you're doing. So I'm just going to use the black. It doesn't have to be that neat, it needs to be rough. So just putting it on there. Zippy zip. Need to drink sometimes. It's been sitting in the chair for a while now, so you need to get your fluids. And it's important that you have fun. All right. The other side. Getting there. Yep. Then I'm going to use um, a little bit of a uh, blue and black from the um, Dash Bow Grease Paint Palette and make the sides a tiny bit grayisher. Not, not as dark. Go back to the lips. Checking it out. What does it need? Ah. Yep, it needs a bit of eyeshadow, and that's going to be on my eyes, of course. Use a big fluffy brush and use the reddish brownish to make the eyes a bit more thicker. And of course, I'm going to set everything with the setting powder from Meron. I'll do that off camera because that's boring. And I'm going to use a uh, red liner to make my waterline a bit more infected. Like that. Yep. And I just poke myself in the eye. <laughs> Not really smart to do. Mess up my hair a bit. Checking it out. Does it need anything more? I'm going to use Makeup's Mouth Stain Black and I'm going to use a Makeup's Foaming Mouth. Now from this stuff, um, you only need one teaspoon to make you go like um, foaming to the mouth really badly. So I'm just going to show you first how it looks with only the mouth stain. This is nice dark sick look oh and i popped in a color lens i can see through the lens but i can't see really um definition so i wouldn't advise to put them both in just i just popped in one hey that's me okay that was just having fun now the end video